everyone, welcome to Learn Archives, a channel where we talk about everything from zero waste, productivity, life design, everything to make our lives a little bit better. Today we're going to be talking all about products to have a zero waste home. Now I have several things I've kind of built in my inventory over the years. I definitely did not buy all these things at once as things were kind of um, needing to be replaced in my own home. I found that as an area to kind of upgrade certain items and things of that sort. So for this video, I actually just went around my house and just grabbed zero waste things I had. It wasn't too much pre-planned. So the first thing on the docket today is going to be toilet paper. As you know, traditionally at the store, toilet paper is wrapped in plastic and we really don't want that. So I actually get my toilet paper delivered to me. The toilet paper company that I use is called Biffy. There are several out there, but I kind of want to go with this one. I want to go with this one just because I really like the color of it. Um, I actually have my next shipment coming in a couple days. So you get multiple colors in your shipment, but this is one of the colors. Um, like I said, it's called Bippy. It's wrapped in paper and it's bamboo toilet paper and it comes in a cardboard box. So 100% zero waste. Um, they also just like don't stuff anything extra into the um, packaging nor in the actual box that comes in, which is great. So I highly suggest Bippy. I personally think this toilet paper is better than the toilet paper I've used in the past, to be quite honest. Like we've used like Connell, all the big, you know, big box brands and I have not missed them at all since switching to Bippy. Bippy also offers um, several other products, but I highly recommend their toilet paper. You can order it on a subscription basis, in which case you save more money. I put it underneath the sink and then it's all good to go. And also just because it's pretty, I feel like it's not embarrassing if anyone ever has to grab some toilet paper. It looks super cute. And if you actually look at the, the back, they have some fun stuff. Highly, highly recommend Bippy. And all these products will be linked down below if you like them. Next, we are gonna talk about the kind of like laundry situation in my home. So everyone I think kind of has these already, but wool balls I highly suggest if you don't have them. So these go in the dryer. They're awesome, especially for towels and sheets. So while they're in the dryer, they kind of like do this whole motion, obviously. So they kind of make things dry in less time. Prior to having these wool balls, I would say that depending on what load I was doing, like I said, specifically like sheets, comforters, stuff like that, I'd have to put it in for like one and a half times for the dryer time or maybe two. But since having these is definitely lower the amount of time and so lowers the amount of electricity being used and they're really cute, look at them. You can get these at multiple places. I'll have linked down below where you can get them on Amazon, but you can easily find these at like TJ Maxx, Target, you can find these anywhere. There's not really a specific brand that you want to get, just make sure they're 100% wool. In the laundry department as well, we have um, our detergent situation. So similar to Bippy, we have our detergent shipped to us. Once again, because we just want to stick with um, as much zero waste as possible. So I actually got this yesterday, which is really fun. So this is my drops package. It comes like this. And it says on the sides, save time, save water, save plastic, save money. So you get your package and you just kind of open it. And then inside you have this, it has the laundry instructions and just says we're all in this together. So it's kind of like that. And so on each side, you can kind of rip this off as I've done with this package right here. And you can rip them off and then you have your laundry detergent. So I looked into it a lot more. They have less chemicals than the traditional laundry detergent. They're also cheaper actually when it comes to the end of the day, just because you're not paying for the actual plastic jug and the shipment of going to, um, of it being shipped to like a Target and then having to go to Target and buy it and you get a lot of empty space. I really like it for that way too. I also like, um, just the packaging in general, like we've said, having zero waste. So you've seen the zero waste packaging. So this is what the pod looks like. Let me open. So I get the one with um, zero fragrance. I like to, when possible, um, have zero fragrance, whether it be in this or, um, you know, anything that's basically gonna touch my body. I like to avoid having fragrances. If you haven't already, I highly suggest watching The Stink on on Netflix. It's super, super good. It's all about um, chemicals and like what is in our current um, products that I buy every day, including like flame retardant and just kind of how to best avoid what products look for. This is what it looks like. Like I said, it's just, you know, I don't have any perfumes in mind, so it doesn't look special. There's no like, you know, green, blue color action, but like who cares? It's a laundry detergent, right? And so actually there's a pouch that goes in. Actually, let me go get it. Okay. Okay. So they ship this to you the first time. It's a little drops bag. So what you do when you're doing a cold wash specifically, but you could do this with every wash is you just open the bag, put your drops in and close it. So for my kitchen, I use stasher bags. We 
have long ago given up plastic bags and we have not looked back. We do not um, see reason really ever to buy plastic bags again. Um, so we use these silicone bags. You can also get ones on Grove. Like I said, Amazon has other off-brand ones. Stasher's one of the better known ones, but you don't necessarily have to go with Stasher. Okay, so for our food containers, I do have one that's not with me right now because my husband took it to work. But picture will be right here. Um, it is from Package Free Shop. I highly recommend you buy from there. Um, the founder of it is Lauren Singer. I'm gonna put a link down below to her Instagram. She's amazing and phenomenal woman. She's done so much for the zero waste movement. But anyway, she has this awesome containers that are airtight. I would definitely be buying on Black Friday. I'm gonna be buying many, many more. In the meantime, we have these other containers. We're really big fans of Pyrex containers. They're, um, the only difference is obviously that this is glass and not plastic. Um, these containers are still plastic, but the whole point is that these get a lot more use time out of them. They're easier to clean. If you look at plastic containers, um, the second you put anything that's like a sauce or anything like that, they kind of get discolored and after a while they get gross. And more importantly, the chemicals kind of come off of it during time. A little fun fact actually, did you know that we ingest about a credit card size amount of plastic every month? Did you know that? We also use for containers around the house mason jars. So this is a little bit more of an old school one, but you can get tons of them everywhere. So we use this for like water. Actually, I'm drinking one out of water right now. Um, we use it to store, I use one like this to store garlic. So I actually take our garlic and pre-peel them and put them in a mason jar. If you want a different kind of jar, you can also get ones really cheaply at Ikea. Here's an example one we have here. I'll just take like a chalk marker and I'll write like chia seeds or whatever is filling up the jar. So these are also awesome. I also think it just aesthetically looks better. If you have your home completely filled with glass, metal, wood items, I think it kind of elevates the feeling of the home rather than having a ton of plastic. So that's also a little nice add on. And lastly, for the kitchen, we have some drinkware. So we always use metal straws. Um, I have a boba straw too that I keep with me just in case I'm gonna go get some bubble tea. Um, but we also use metal straws. I actually use them all the time for my water at home. I just really enjoy having them. I think it's more fun to drink out of a straw for some reason. I drink more water that way. Um, you can also get a reusable water bottle. And on top of that, I also have a little thermos I keep. This is great. This brand is LO. I also have a link down below. You can get these at Target. It's great. For me, it's been spill proof, which has been weirdly not available a lot of the times. Every time I look for a thermos, they're not spill proof. And I'm pretty sure this was like 12 bucks. So something super, super cheap. My friend Kelsey told me about it and they have two colors, a white and a black. So Isaac has a black one, I have a white one. It's perfect. Lastly, let's go over the bathroom situation. So for toothbrushes, a lot of people use bamboo toothbrushes and they're awesome, highly recommend it, especially if you have access to somewhere that can compost them. However, um, I have actually gone an alternative route. So the toothbrush that I use is called Gobi. I really, really love it. I did tons of research um, when looking for an electronic toothbrush. Electronic, electronic toothbrush. So I know a lot of people have Quip and I've heard really great things about it. Um, it especially can be really great for a travel size toothbrush. I have a friend who uses it for that reason and I understand 100% why that'd be great. In addition, something to consider is that Quip or those kind of toothbrushes take a battery and so those batteries obviously eventually are gonna die and so you're gonna have to then um, put that into a landfill. So if you're looking for an electronic toothbrush, I'd highly recommend getting a rechargeable toothbrush. That way you're not buying new batteries that have to go into the landfill. And if you're looking for a deeper clean, I would highly recommend getting one that is rechargeable versus one that is not rechargeable. Apparently something about um, having a rechargeable toothbrush, it's not able to give the same power as one that is rechargeable um, just because of like how much power it can hold and stuff like that. So this is a Gobi, like I said, I really, really love it. They come in multiple colors. It is a little bit more of an expensive toothbrush, but it's one of those things that once you purchase one, you know, you're not gonna get another one next season or anything like that. Um, I also like this toothbrush company because they send you new heads um, every three months. This is why I think I sent mine up for it, but I think you can pick different months you want it for. So I don't have to think about it. It just ships to me. It's $6, including shipping and everything for me to get a new um, toothbrush head. It comes in like a little uh, cardboard box. It is awesome. Second to last thing, we have a natural toothbrush that actually comes in a glass container. So this is also available at packagefreeshop.com. It is this brand, Geo, G Organics, G Organics, I believe, right? G Organics, that's how you pronounce it. 
that's how we're gonna pronounce it. G Organics is an English peppermint. I've actually enjoyed this toothpaste. Um, it took a while to get used to. I have to say it's definitely harder to sell someone who um, isn't really wanting to be zero waste to switch to this toothpaste. There are a lot of other alternatives out there. I know that Lush has one that's like a tablet. So I'll actually be exploring for a different alternative. We actually have a decent amount of toothpaste here already. It's gonna be a while till we get through it. But after that, I plan to kind of go on like a mini spree and buy three different companies um, toothpaste to figure out which one works for our family the best. So this is the one I have. It's like almost, it's like pretty close to empty. I've used about all of it. And then the final zero waste item is actually my razor. So this was the one, this is the thing that I bought last Black Friday and I am so glad I did, but it definitely is a bit of a purchase. I believe it was like $60, I think it was like 60 or $80, which is a purchase. It is a lot more expensive than a regular razor, but of course, once you've bought this razor, you're not gonna be buying another reusable razor for ever, basically. So the brand is called Leaf, and the reason that's a big deal is because it's a stainless steel razor. So once again, reusable, obviously. And then what happens is it comes with replaceable razor heads that you actually put in there yourself, and then you can put it back in this container, and once you have all your razor heads that have been used, you can actually ship it back to the company for it to be properly disposed of. The reason I love Leaf so much is because it is truly zero waste. It's a stainless steel razor. It looks amazing. I mean, just also just look at like how glamorous it looks. I just, I love it. I feel fancy every time I use it. And my name's Lauren, so it makes it feel like it's extra mine. But anywho, it has um, replaceable razor heads. So you get it in this little package. And they have a video um, on their website so you can easily watch a little tutorial on how to put it in. It's super, super simple. But basically you just, you know, unscrew this, it comes off, you gently put the razor in there and then they have these little sheets. You can put your razor that you're done using in those sheets. And then once you're done with all of them, you can ship it back to the company and it'll probably be disposed of and kind of be re-put into the material life cycle. So super zero waste, it's amazing. Once again, a little bit of a purchase, but it is a really great item to have in the home. So those are all my zero waste items. I really hope you enjoyed seeing them. I hope that you can maybe add some of these to your own home to be a little less wasteful and add a little bit more zero waste to your home. I really enjoyed all these products. I highly suggest that if you can pick even a couple of them that would really, really help just the environment and do better. I would say that if you can do the laundry detergent or the Bippy, the toilet paper, those are great alternatives. They're subscription-based. They don't have to deal with it later on. And so it'll be super, super simple. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll be posting more videos of zero waste, lifestyle design, productivity, kind of all the things. This channel is called Lauren Archives. So it's just going to be tons of different stuff that I enjoy.